when when you when I hear you saying this thing, the what really comes to my mind is what one of Warren Buffett's probably most famous sayings, right? Is you want to you know be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when our, others are greedy. And Buffett is talking really you know in the context of either buying whole companies like Berkshire Hathaway does, or in the context of stocks, you want to act counter cyclically. So I guess what's what's so interesting is that you're saying that you are see you see as both a broker and an owner of commercial real estate, that same exact type of behavior in the real estate market that we see in the stock market. Oh, yeah. I think without question, I mean, uh, you know, a, a good real estate, I mean, at a high level, good real estate is sold by, you know, a call for offers, you know, which is a, kind of a pretty interesting concept as opposed to a stock where you just, it's a free-for-all and, you, you know, you, you know, you go in and try and buy it at the market. But um, you know, to really get the, the, you know, kind of what we do that's maybe different than, than um, what a lot of folks might think of commercial real estate brokerage is to uh, do, uh, is we have a real market orientation. So we don't chase after large institutional real estate as an investment. What we do is the stuff that the everyman could do. And so we work in what I like to call the bottom 80% of the market, and, and we look for value opportunity. And, and there's a lot of that out there, but you've got to really, you know, pay attention to what's going on in the, in the overall economy. And so, like, you know, the implication might be, for example, a China market melts off like it did last week. And so then that causes some person in Colorado Springs to get scared and decide to sell a building and maybe at a discount we come along and, and we're not so afraid of what's going on in China because we understand what's going on. And we said, well, we'll buy that property because it looks like a real, it, we're going to be able to buy it below, you know, prevailing markets and, and create some value for ourselves. And, and we work in, you know, again, what I call the bottom 80% of the market, which is where the typical maybe investor is, is at. You know, I mean, the top 20% is the large institutions. And, you know, that's a whole different conversation. So we're, we're kind of like blue collar, lunch pail, commercial real estate brokers that, that go out into local markets and find, you know, what we figure to be really good real estate investments.